Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, Chasing 70 Degrees. My name is Travis and it has sure been a minute. So here in Maryland in the wintertime, it's just simply too cold outside to do anything. And in the summertime, it just gets really hot and really humid. I had some other side projects I was finishing up and so that is why I haven't posted any content in a while. However, that is all about to change and hopefully for the better. I've got some really cool things I'm gonna be doing in my 2020 Jeep Wrangler JL Unlimited Sport. And so I'm gonna be doing a jack installation on the driver's side front area with the Go Rhino jack holder. I'm also gonna be doing some LED switchback lights and that's what this video is gonna be about. And there's gonna be some other things I'm gonna be doing as well. I'm gonna be swapping my hood latches out and just trying to add uh, a little pop to my Jeep. So what is this video gonna be about? Well, as I commented earlier, I'm really interested in these Oracle uh, amber and white LED switchback lights. And so I have here, and I know it's gonna be tough to see, I'm gonna bring you in for a close up, so don't worry. And we're gonna see a comparison between the stock bulb, which is this sort of orange Toshiba bulb, and I'm assuming this is probably a $2 part at AutoZone, compared to the premium LED uh, amber and white switchback lights from Oracle. Now to be clear, I am not sponsored by Oracle. These lights were not given to me. I went ahead and paid the $62.99 on Amazon. And I've got affiliate links down below for these lights along with all the part number information. And that's one of the things that can be a little confusing. The part number or the manufacturer part number is different from the part number that you're gonna see in the Amazon affiliate link if you decide to buy these. So uh, again, you get a pair of them for $64, let's say. Uh, prime shipping, so $32 each. But I think what you're gonna see is you're gonna get a lot more light. And I really like the fact that the Oracle switchback lights run white during the daytime, right? So if you have, and I should say during the night as well, so if you have your lights on, they're gonna be running white. They don't run orange like the stock bulb. So again, they're gonna run white, which I really like. When you turn your blinkers on, Obviously, it's going to, you know, the switchback, that's the name, it's going to switch over to orange for your blinkers. And I've got some great footage. I go out to a park here locally where they don't have any lights in one of the parking lot areas. And so it is pitch black out there. And I'm going to give you some really nice footage of what these switchback lights look like. I installed one on the driver's side, but didn't do it on the passenger side so that you could see a side-by-side -side comparison of what these lights look like when they're both running at the same time. And then again, I go ahead and do the install on the passenger side, and that's actually the footage you're gonna see when I do the installation of the Oracle LED switchback, you're seeing the installation on the passenger side. Again, the installation is the exact same as the driver's side, it's just that I wanted to get you that side-by-side -side comparison, and these might have been filmed out of sequence. Obviously, I'm filming this and I've already got both the bulbs installed and all the other footage done, so this is where we're kind of, you know, starting at the beginning, but it's really sort of the end of the installation piece. All right, well, let's dive in and let's see just how easy it is to get to the housing for these LED switchbacks and then to get the switchback uh, Oracle lights installed. So let's first start out. I'm going to give you a close-up look and a side-by-side -side comparison of the tools I'm going to use to make this happen. And I'm going to show you these lights side-by-side -side next to each other so that you can see just how much more... Um, uh, more quality there is in that Oracle LED switchback compared to this little Toshiba light. All right, well, it's great to have you guys back and let's go ahead and take a look at what we're gonna use here to get this install done. All right, so as I do in all of my videos, I wanted to make sure I give you a close up of what I'm gonna be using to make this installation happen. So a couple of quick notes. So this is sort of uh, the little punch pin uh, that is holding that, uh, that firewall type material uh, in front of the um, side marker uh, well, so to speak, in order to get it installed. And it is different, it's very different uh, from the pins that you use in order to uh, keep your grill attached. So I had ordered a a uh, bag of these, and these have come in really handy in order to do the grill work. However, you're definitely gonna wanna keep your hands on the, the single punch pin that you're gonna have to remove uh, in order to get into the installation for uh, the, the switchback uh, side marker that we're gonna be 
installing today. And so um, I've actually done the driver's side already because I wanted to show you uh, sort of the stock. This is the Toshiba, and I'll bring it a little bit closer. So this is the Toshiba um, stock switchback light that was in my uh, Jeep Wrangler. And then to give you an idea of sort of the uh, upgrade um, of the the uh, the, uh, the switchback marker. I mean, just take a look at this Oracle uh, component here. In fact, if you just slide this out on the back, you can pop it out and you can really see uh, there's a lot more going on here. And one of the great things is, like I said in the opening, is that this is plug and play, right? I don't need to do any type of uh, resistor connectivity, nothing like that, right? I mean, it's literally, I'm going to be removing the stock bulb and I'm going to be putting in the Oracle bulb. Now, you're definitely going to want a pair of gloves unless uh, you're looking to spend some time, uh, a lot of time washing your hands. And I'm using my Trisalto uh, trim removal, removal tools uh, in order to get that punch pin, the pin that kind of holds that wall in there, in front of the, the switchback uh, area. And this is what I'm going to use to remove it. So we've seen uh, the two lights, right? We've seen the stock, we've seen the Oracle upgrade, and again, side by side, there really kind of is no comparison. And I was afraid that the Oracle wasn't going to fit in there. Uh, and it does, and I'm going to actually show you that you can see, you can almost see, well, actually, you can see the end of this. And I, like I said, I was afraid there wasn't going to be enough room to slot that into the hole because, again, uh, it's substantially longer than the stock unit. So let's go ahead and let's dive in and let's get this installed and let's see what they look like after they're installed. All right, so as I previously stated, we're only removing one of these push pins right here, right? And it's this one that you'll find right here, uh, right behind sort of the, the front wheel well uh, on the fender here. And so we're gonna go ahead and pop this pin off. And again, this is the angle is kind of odd um, and we wanna make sure that we keep track of this pin because it is not like the other ones uh, that I have. So it's not gonna be uh, easily replaceable. And you're definitely gonna want gloves because this is nasty in here in this front wheel well. So let's see if we can get this off of here. And it's kind of tough to get under. Driver's side was a little easier, but let's see what we've got here. There we go. And so this is where a trim removal tool is gonna to be, gonna come in extremely handy. All right, so there we go. And as you can see, we were able to, to maintain and kind of save that push pin. I'm just gonna set it up here on the uh, fender. And so now with this out, right, with that single push pin removed, all we're going to need to do is to kind of pull this back because again, that switchback lamp, uh, headlamp is just right here behind this. And so I've actually seen a couple people where they will actually kind of pull it back and like fold it in like that. But I'm just gonna go ahead and try to bring it back a little bit. And I'm hoping, whoops, sorry. I didn't mean to bump into the camera there. I'm hoping you can see, if I get my arm out of the way here, trying to figure out the best way in here, you can see that it's right here where the wiring for that headlamp runs right in here. Uh, and that is the switchback uh, light right there, that's it. So what we're gonna do now, uh, again, you can clearly see it. And so it's gonna be lefty loosey, righty tighty. And so I'm just gonna twist it to the left. And it's, it's a really easy twist. I was really concerned that, you know, getting up in here, that this was gonna be, you know, really difficult to twist out on the driver's side, it came out uh, very, very easily. And this one too, right? So it's just a little twist to the left and there it is. So there is that stock bulb uh, that you've already seen. It's a Toshiba bulb, right? Uh, probably, probably 69 cents. Uh, definitely not the same intelligence. Uh, I shouldn't say the same intelligence, but the, you know, the same features that you're going to get here out of this LED uh, switchback from Oracle. So let's go ahead and pop this out. And again, it's a very easy uh, removal of the stock bulb. It just kind of pops right out there. And let me set that down. And then here we go with the Oracle bulb. So I'm going to go ahead and you just literally plug and play. It doesn't get any easier 
than that. And so there is the Oracle Switchback LED, right? And so now I'm just gonna go ahead and hold this back again here and slide it right back into the hole out of which I pulled it. And let me see here. There we go. And so it slides right back in and again, you know, lefty, loosey, righty, tighty. So now I'm gonna spin it clockwise here. Oops. Yeah, and you wanna make sure that it sits, it gets seated back down in there. There you go. And then you just kind of, it's not even a half, it's, it's literally like an eighth of a turn and you can kind of feel a little resistance and then it kind of like just slots in there. And then it's definitely, uh, it's definitely back in there, right? So now the only thing we need to do is go ahead and drop, whoops, drop this part of the protective covering there. And we're gonna go ahead and grab our push pin and we're gonna drop that push pan, a uh, push pin, sorry, push pin right back in there. And let's hope that, that that holds, or maybe we'll have to find out, you know, how to order some of those, but that's basically the installation. You pop out this pin, uh, you do like an eighth of a turn, you can slide it right out. You remove this bulb right here. You put in your new Oracle switchback LED, amber and white. You put it back in an eighth of a twist to lock it in, put the pin back in, or cover it back up, put the pin back in, and that's it, you are all done. So the installation of this takes about literally five minutes to get that in there. And so now let's go ahead and uh, we can take a look, let's take a step back and take a look at exactly uh, what kind of uh, change we see with uh, respect to the lighting. All right, and as I had commented previously, you can clearly see right here uh, the end of the Oracle light. If I was to bring you over to the other side where we still have the stock switchback installed, uh, you can see it and you can kind of see that it's orange, but it is definitely not up as close to the glass as the Oracle is. So again, you can still see it. However, when you come over here, you can clearly see that this is, this is pretty close to uh, the glass for that switchback light. But again, it does fit in there and, you know, just kind of looking down at it a little bit, there is a little bit of room still left in there. Uh, so now let's go ahead and take a look and see what the light looks like uh, when we've got it on. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is my car alarm uh, is on. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the car alarm off and I want you to take a look. Again, I showed you this in pitch black conditions, what it looks like, but here's what it looks like in the daytime. Uh, and you can see that it does flash orange, right? And the nice thing is, is that when you have your lights on, it actually doesn't run orange, it's gonna run white and you'll see that, right? So let me go ahead and turn the car on just so that you can see what it looks like in the daytime. All right, and again, it's a little hard to see, obviously it's daytime, uh, but the light is on. And again, you can still see uh, sort of the, the gold end of that switchback LED light. All right, that's gonna do it for the daytime. Now let's go ahead and let's take a look and see what this light looks like uh, when it is pitch black outside. So I'm gonna be going to a local park where they don't have any lighting at nighttime and it is going to be literally pitch black outside. Uh, and a quick note, as I looked to my left here, I just realized. So again, you can see that this is gonna be, uh, when you're running it and you got your lights on during the day, it's gonna be a white light, whereas the stock bulb, right, is gonna be that orange, right? And so this is kind of a nice change and it goes really nicely with the Oracle LED headlights that I've got installed. And I put a link to the video how I did the Oracle LED headlamp install as well. All right, so let's get out to Bell Branch Park here in Gambrels, Maryland, and let's see what this light looks like, uh, both when the alarm is being turned off and when uh, the light is just running. And you'll notice a substantial difference uh, in brightness. Let's check that out. All right, so the shot that I'm gonna do now is I'm simply gonna go ahead and lock the car. And you can see from going from pitch black, if I unlock it, and I'll keep hitting the unlock, and if you focus there on the right-hand side, you can clearly see how much brighter that Oracle LED switchback is. And take a look at that. I'll do this a few more times. 
right? And just take a look at how much brighter the right-hand side is, the driver's side, when compared to the uh, left-hand side in the image as you're looking at the image, right? Just definitely much, much brighter. Uh, and again, if I lock it and then it goes pitch black and then I bring it back here and then of course the, light, the headlights come on and that's kind of washing it out a little bit, but definitely much, much brighter on the right-hand side. So now what we're gonna take a look at is I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna start the car and show you that the light is actually white. So it's not orange when the car's running like the factory default uh, in the factory bulb. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. All right, so as you can see here, we've got the uh, Oracle LED on the right and it runs white, right? So it doesn't run orange as the left-hand side does. So now let's take a look and see what the blinkers look like and I'm gonna have the blinker signal and you can see there it does light up orange, right? And that's what the factory default looks like. And now take a look at just how much brighter that Oracle LED looks, right? So let's take one more look at that. So there is the factory bulb on the passenger side of the vehicle. And now let's take a look at the Oracle LED. And again, it's a little washed out because it is pitch black out here, but hopefully you're able to get a really good idea of just how much brighter uh, the Oracle switchback is and talk about the easiest, um, one of the easiest uh, modifications to make. Again, it's about five minutes to drop it in and, and that's about it. And so as you can see, it does run uh, white as opposed to the orange, like I said. And the last thing I wanted to show you that'll hopefully save you a few dollars is there's always some confusion around, uh, you know, you'll see the name of the part, right, and, and the part number. So uh, the part number that you saw on the sticker for the package I was holding, and I ordered my stuff uh, from Oracle, uh, was 5111-023, and that's the Oracle part number, right? Now, the name of the component is the Oracle 7443-CK, and it kind of explains what the 7443-CK connection is down here. Uh, but I want to make sure that I point this out. Uh, when you come to look for this, or in the affiliate link actually brings you right to it, uh, is on Amazon, you can save, uh, what do we got here, like $7 in savings? And that is how they're referring to it. Now, right down here, they'll show you the manufacturer part number as well. But I just wanted to make sure that I point this out. Again, always check to make sure that the part that you're ordering is going to fit your Jeep. And that is it. That's all I've got. I really appreciate you stopping by. Hopefully, this has got you excited about this modification. And you can definitely add some pop to that switchback lighting system that you have in your Jeep. All right. As always, thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video.